But the other set of raids that took place uh, were in Delhi and in Noida, and the target here was corporate lobbyist Neera Radia and some of her close associates, including former TRAI chief Pradeep Bejal, who is now connected to Radia's company, Noesis. Neera Radia, of course, is the PR consultant and advisor to some of India's biggest corporate houses. CBI sleuths swooping on corporate lobbyist Neera Radia's Vaishnavi Corporate Communications office in central Delhi. One of the seven locations raided by the investigating agency in the capital in connection with the 2G spectrum scam. Radia's other office in Noida and farmhouse at Chhatarpur were also searched. Radia, a high-profile lobbyist for some of the biggest names in corporate India, including the Tata Group and Reliance, has emerged as the face of the 2G scam. The CBI is examining close to 6,000 phone conversations between Radia and a range of politicians, industrialists and others. Simultaneous raids were carried out at the residence of former TRAI chairman Pradeep Bejal. As TRAI chief, Bejal regulated the telecom industry between 2003 and 2006. A year after he retired, Bejal joined Radia's associate firm, Noises, giving rise to allegations of conflict of interests. Radia and Bejal were present during the searches and questioned by the officials. The CBI also raided Mahesh Jain and his brother, Alok Jain, alleged to be Hawala operators and close associates of former telecom minister, A. Raja. Another location searched by the CBI was the office of GenX Exim Venture, believed to be a front company for Reliance. Chennai-based GenX is linked to Swan Telecom, which got a 2G license in 2008. The CBI has also sought help from the Enforcement Directorate. Several incriminating documents have been seized during the searches and the searches are still continuing. Round two of the CBI's raids are over. The real challenge before the investigating agency will now be to clearly establish whether there's a money trail linking all the key players, to prove the Hawala transactions, if any, and to nail the accused in one of India's biggest scams ever. In New Delhi, with Siddharth Ranjandas, Neha Khanna for NDTV.